long COVID, also dubbed as a post-acute COVID-19 syndrome, is a syndrome that is characterized by persistent symptoms as well as complications weeks or months after the initial infection, and it's usually beyond four weeks. Mostly, it cannot be explained by any alternative diagnosis, and it can affect multiple organs in the body. And in the study from our um, university in Hong Kong, we found that actually three out of four people had one persistent symptom six months after they recovered from the COVID infection. And up to a year, at least one in three still had persistent symptoms. Now, your team have been looking at the link between COVID and gut health since the beginning of the pandemic. But what drew your attention specifically to gut bacteria and long COVID? Uh, so in 2020, in the early pandemic, we started looking into this and we found that there was a series of good bacteria that was missing in the gut of patients with COVID-19 infection. And it's alarming that this condition prevailed even after patients have recovered and recovered and discharged from the hospital. And we know that uh, the human gut is also one of the largest immunological organ and impaired immune response may affect the recovery process. So we started looking into the makeup of the gut microbiome and some of the potential reasons behind long COVID. Now, long COVID is, you know, it seems quite mysterious, but what have you found in your studies? Um, at the moment, long COVID uh, clearly has uh, no exact cause to it because scientists around the world has been speculating what may sort of actually cause it. Uh, but our team has been tackling, looking into the gut microbiome. And we started following patients, several hundreds of them, after they had the acute infection. And there are a few things which is rather striking. Uh, we found that in these patients with long COVID, first, they have a very distinctive you know, gut microbiome profile. They have reduced richness, reduced diversity in their uh, gut. For example, if they lack certain friendly immune-boosting bacteria, such as the bifidobacterial family, it seems to be associated with persistent cough as well as chest symptoms and shortness of breath. Whereas if there was abundance of certain pathogen, the bad bacteria in the gut, these patients continue to have symptoms of fatigue and even mental health illness and poor memory and loss of taste over sort of several years. So are you saying that if you received a stool sample of someone who had recovered from COVID, you could tell if or how likely it was that they were to develop long COVID symptoms in the future? And would you be able to tell actually what type of symptoms they might develop? Uh, right. So our research group at the Chinese University of Hong has been looking at this and we found that indeed the makeup of the gut microbiome is actually linked to a person's risk of developing long COVID after the initial infection. And what this suggests is that microbiome profiling might help identify those who are more susceptible or at risk of this condition. So what we've done is we have looked into several thousands of clinical samples. These are stool samples. By using a machine learning model, we can now predict and detect someone if they will have long COVID symptoms with over 90% sensitivity as well as specificity. And even more exciting is uh, that some of these models can actually predict the types of symptoms, whether it's related to respiratory system, whether it's related to brain health, or even uh, gut uh, symptoms. So I think this may potentially provide a potential tool in order to uh, for early prediction, prediction and detection of long COVID in people who had the acute infection. If you're able to uh, potentially predict if somebody could get long COVID, what about the treatment of long COVID? Uh, currently, treating long COVID is very challenging because I think until recently, we really don't have any definitive clinical tests, and this is mainly through a process of exclusion. And of course, we also don't have any standard treatment as yet. So um, in about 2021, uh, we developed a, a microbiome immunity formula. It's called SIM01 uh, in order to hasten recovery. And we did a pilot study and we found that in acute infection, uh, by in consuming this uh, formula, it, it hastened the recovery as well as increased the antibody formation. Uh, more recently, we have tested this novel microbiome immunity formula, SIM01, in patients uh, who may get long COVID. And we found that for those who had uh, taken this for four weeks, um, over 90% of 
subjects did not develop long COVID at one year follow-up. I mean, in contrast, for those who had not received it, uh, at least of 80% had at least one type of long COVID symptoms when they followed up to 12 months. So it's exciting, but we are now trying to conduct larger studies to validate these findings. Mm, yeah, I was going to say, it all sounds very promising, but what are, what are the limitations of your studies? Do we need to be looking at more people and particularly people outside of Hong Kong? The study I mentioned is still an observation study. So as such, uh, we can't establish a course and uh, the study number and sample size were rather modest in our pilot study. So in order to echo or to confirm these findings, it's important that we validate these across different jurisdictions and different populations, given that we know diet and lifestyle factors could affect the gut microbiome as well. So we are currently expanding this to um, other uh, populations in the um, United States and the United Kingdom, as well as different parts of um, Asia to, to understand the contribution and the importance of these um, treatment in, uh, for long COVID prevention. What next for your team and your studies? I think for the microbiome profiling, which is a diagnostic tool, we are now increasing the sample size to you know, three to 5,000 of um, clinical samples. And I think the aim is to provide a higher precision and accuracy and sensitivity in predicting long COVID and to replicate in other cohorts. Uh, at the same time, we're also working on animal models to support that the change in the gut microbiome is indeed the driver or the cause of long COVID and not just a consequence of the disease. And I think lastly, uh, now uh, we are with conducting a randomized control trial to study the efficacy of SIM01 in preventing and treating long COVID. And we anticipate that there'll be over 500 subjects in this clinical trial. And uh, we hope that this could lead to a new sort of way of modulating the gut microbiome to reduce symptoms of long COVID. And we hope to share with you the results maybe in a couple of months time.